Uh, an absolute legend indeed. Now, today's Wednesday workout is perfect for building leg and hip strength, which is important when it comes to playing rugby. Now, of course, in the 1995 Rugby World Cup, our winner and our special guest this morning is Francois Pina, who definitely inspired our workout. And we are once again going to be using these resistance bands that you guys have loved so much. And this affordable and versatile piece of exercise equipment is one of the best ways to work out and challenge every muscle in your lower body. So grab those bands and join us for this rugby inspired midweek workout and I'm joined by the beautiful Jamie Lee Yay, Domberg. I'm so excited. <laughs> like whenever I get a piece of equipment because I don't obviously go to gym right now and I don't have these so whenever you're like okay let's be training with resistance bands I'm like oh yeah bring it on. Let's bring do it on. the let's things. Do it. Let's of do course it. now everybody at home is going to love this. It's such a versatile piece of equipment. It literally scrambles up and fits into the palm of your hand. You can hide it anywhere in a bag or wherever you are using but today we're going to be showing you everything that you can unlock while using your legs and using a simple piece of band equipment equipment like this, all right? So what we're gonna do is take the band, and you're gonna put it above your knees, Jamie. So step inside the band for me to Ooh. start off with. And we're gonna get them just above the knees, all right? So what okay. you wanna do already in this position, if your legs are close together and if you guys at home are also doing the same thing, you'll uh, wanna feel the resistance by standing at least shoulder width apart. So already okay. by standing like that, we're working this lateral line, which is all the, uh, the fascia and the muscles on the side of the body. We've got the medial line on the inside. We've got the anterior line and the posterior posterior chain at the back. And I'm going to show you how of The rugby <laughs> players are going to love all these big fancy words and terms, but for you guys at home, just know that you're going to be working out the entire region of that pelvic girdle in the legs, right? So starting off with a nice basic squat. This squat has an advantage though, because of the band being above our knees, it's going to also stimulate that lateral line and get a little bit of that glute med action going. So every time we go down for a squat, hinging at the hip, we're going down for the squat, keep pushing out on the band and then straight back up. And then as you come up, you want to kick forward, work that hip flex in the front, and then go back to that squat position. Back into the squat once again. Now we're going to kick that leg to the side and work that glute med. Beautiful. Kick it nice and controlled as well when you're doing that. And now back to that squat. And now we're going to kick it back and work that posterior chain. Squeeze that glute. You feeling that? Yes. Nice. And come straight back down for a squat once again. So let's repeat that on the other leg now, Jamie. Are you feeling anything in this front part? Where in the leg do you feel this kick? I feel it. I feel it everywhere, but I also feel it in my core because I'm, I'm trying to get yes. my core to get engaged with yes. it. Is that right? That's perfect. So what you will find with the band especially, and you guys at home that are trying this, is although we are working the legs, the fact that it's a functional movement, number one, the fact that there's cross-directional uh, forces that are acting on our body, mm -hmm. we need to ensure that our core now is even more engaged. Otherwise, if not, and we kicked out, we'd literally just fall all Got over the it. show. So the bands are forcing extra stimulation from the core, which is something that I know you're going to love at home because I definitely do. <laughs> I love it. All right, so let's finish on the other side now okay. to show everybody at home. We're going again for a squat, then we're kicking through to the front, another squat once again, and now we're going to kick through to the side, work that glute knee, and then another squat and work that posterior chain as well as that glute in the back. And you're going to repeat this process. You're going to go for five on each side. So obviously kicking front, left and to the back is one, one rep. Okay. Yes, exactly. So five each side is going to give you your first exercise done and dusted. And now we're going to move over to the next one, guys. So lying down on the ground now. I love this one so much just because sprinters love it. I think rugby players love it. Anybody that is doing any physical intensive exercise is going to love it. Why? Because it actually wakes up the glute. And one thing that's important is that glute need, which is a muscle that seldom and, and, and seldom is awake as, as much as we need. And often it's just lying dormant and asleep. So we're going to target this bad boy here. So what you're going to do Jamie is pretend as though your heels cannot uh, detach okay? okay so you're gonna pivot from the heel and you're gonna try and open this leg up as best as you can as wide as you can and nice and slow and keeping your shoulders rotating over and hold it there for two seconds and then bring it straight back down once again. Right, so where are you feeling that pain, if anything? Are you feeling a little bit of stimulation? On the inside and the inside, on the inside of my side. Okay, so I want you to focus on forcing the band to go behind you. And I want to get you to get that stimulation in the glute. All right, so take your hip as it currently is and roll it further over. So in that direction. Yeah, there you go. That is a better position. Okay. Now try it once again for me, Jamie. Lift that up as high as you can. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. That is burning. That's the burn. That's what you guys want to feel. So make sure you're not rolling 
rotating over and your chest is facing the sky. You really want to bring your body around. You want to have your chest almost facing in front of you. Your shoulders are stacked right up above each other and that's going to give you that stimulation to activate this glute over here. And this is a brilliant one to hit that uh, glute need, which is something that we need to wake up so often, right? Glute need, we need to need it. I need to need it. That's everyone <laughs> needs to need that because that burns. We need it. Okay, so the last exercise is a brilliant one. Again, it's going to be using the core quite a bit. We're going to drop the band down to our feet and kind of get it around the, uh, the, I'll say like the shaft of the foot essentially. It's just above that arch. All right, so what you're going to do now, this is something called a dead bug and it's a very advanced exercise. Again, sprinters love it. Anyone with functional movements, anyone running and using that cross chain is going to use this as a perfect exercise to get that stimulation, the strength and the speed out of it. So what we're going to do is you're going to lie on your back now for yourself. Obviously, okay. you're going to have everything neutral and aligned on the ground. You're going to have your knees at about 90 degrees in front of you, arms up in the air, and what you're going to try to do is firstly start kicking your right leg straight in front of you. All right, yeah, there you go. And when you're going to do that, you're going to have your opposite arm going behind you. So if my right leg's going forward, the left arm goes back, and then I bring it back to center. Now your opposite arm, opposite leg once again, these are the dead bugs. There you go. Now you're going to feel those hip flexors stimulating. You're going to feel the core as well as that eccentric load because you're lifting those hands up. And this is going to be the finisher for your full leg workout. How are you feeling there, Jamie? Oh, that one is a bit difficult because <laughs> you like try to focus on keeping the bands over your feet and then like coordinate. It's, <laughs> it's going to take exactly more than that. just one of these to get me into it. But I like it. I can already feel the burn. I can already feel that the heart is pumping. I'm sweating, so that's always a good sign. Oh, there you go, guys. As simple as that. If Jamie can do it, if I can do it, then you guys have no excuse whatsoever. It's the perfect opportunity to get shredded, work those legs, of course, and all you rugby players out there, get inspired because this is going to allow you to dominate your game. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Catch you after this. <laughs> Cheers.